What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. The video you keep asking about. Eddie, you got a new truck. I heard you got a new truck. When's the video coming out? When's the video coming out? Video's coming out right now, guys. Um, I know you want to check it out. I know you want to see it. I was just getting it cleaned up. It was, it was not, I'm not going to say really dirty, but uh, it wasn't really up to my standards. So we're getting it cleaned, getting everything looked over, just checked. You know, it's uh, still under warranty, believe it or not. It's got everything. Um, so, you know, we're just going to... Uh, Check it out. They went. They went through it, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll go from there. But I'll show it to you. So far, it's just got the leveling kit on it, and uh, some Toyo AT3s, I believe. But we're gonna we're gonna do some stuff to it. But stay tuned. But before I show you guys, let me let me show you my wood. Check out my wood right there. So I did order a uh, wood splitter for all this stuff, just to get it all split and good. But I don't know. Let me know. Recommend uh, down below. What do you guys think? I ordered a splitter. I'm just curious to know uh, what you guys think. And we cleaned up Pops' uh, Denali. You guys weren't why I was here. Well, Pop, Pops brought me uh, some wood, but this thing, uh, this thing was nasty inside, guys. Back here, oh my goodness. So we cleaned that up for him. We got the uh, bed mat for him. And you know, just gotta keep it clean because that stuff got filthy. The moment you guys have been waiting for, here it is, guys. This is the truck that you saw in the story. It's a 2018 Ram 2500, it's not a 3500. Uh, you guys are probably wondering, Eddie, why did you buy it? You said you wanted a 06, and you're right, guys. I do want an 06, but because the price of this was, it was just too damn cheap, and it's just, it was one of those deals where you're like, you know what, you buy it, and literally I can flip this thing and make some good money, but I mean, why not just have another truck, you know, just go around town, you know, maybe keep the miles, you know, low on, on the old rammer in there, you know, use this, I don't know, throw some trash away, just whatever, it's good to have a, I think you know every every household should have two to three trucks minimum but um so it is a 2500 2018 it only has 27,000 miles on it so i mean that's not a lot of miles for a 2018 and for the price it was too damn good and you know the first thing we're gonna do take this off because you know this part i hate this part guys this part right here it you know will start getting all like wrinkly here just it looks like crap so we're gonna pull this off as you guys know under here it's all painted and then uh, we'll bring genesis detailing over here just pull the glue off and just get it cleaned up and right under here is the leveling kit that it came with uh not sure the brand it just came with the truck so it came with some uh decent shocks also on it here's the new at3s uh you know from driving it i mean it's it's good i'm not gonna say it's a bad tire but i haven't really driven the thing so uh, I, you know, can't say between the AT2s and the AT3s a difference because I did drive the AT2s, uh, but I don't notice a difference between them. And it is the interior, I call it Farm Ranch version. Oh, and it does have the uh, amp steps, came with those. But the interior, it's got the tan and uh, brown part on it. And we got oh, some brown up here and got a little brown over here and tan over here. So... I mean, it's not bad. That's, yeah, it, you know, it was a little farmy, ranchy, but, you know, we're out here in the farm, out here in the ranch, so we need this color right here. But it's uh, fully, well, I'm not going to say fully loaded because I think the Limited, or actually, I don't even know if the Limited was out in this year, guys. I don't know. Let me know. Comment down below. I think in this year, the uh, Laramie was the fully loaded one, but it's got everything. The four-wheel drive, AC, heated everything, steering wheel. Um, it's got the, I don't know if they even had an option for a smaller screen, but it's got the, uh, you know, standard, uh, they believe it's an eight inch screen on it. And you know, I mean, this is it guys. It's just pretty, uh, pretty clean. It is a mega cab and you know, I gotta say, uh, comparing it between the 2020, you know, my or 19, you know, I mean, this is still a very, very clean truck. It's the interior. I mean, I will say it sure as hell better than the 2020 Denali, this interior, so I'm not going to, you know, say, oh, because it's an 18, you know, the interior is, oh, this interior still looks, you know, incredible. It's very clean, flawless, you know, no scratches, nothing on it. And here's uh, the back. I mean, you guys already know about the back. Mega cab, the mega mega part, same as uh, my old rammer. Really, uh, really nothing, you know, I don't see anything different. Even it still has uh, the same compartment as my ram too. It seems like the interior, oh, he left me some goodies. All right cool but it seems like the interior uh is pretty much you know the same uh, i don't you know i don't really see any difference um only thing that is different is mine has a 110 outlet also back here on the 19 but other than that guys uh this is this is pretty much it you know she's uh 
she's ready to go it does have the fifth wheel the guy used to tow a fifth wheel so it does have the fifth wheel prep package but i'm not going to tow a fifth wheel so um you know and i'm not going to tow with this either this is just going to be like i said the ranch truck and you know damn well i'm driving out with the mirrors that's right and i got the ghost trailer behind me yes you don't see it but it's back there so yeah you can call me a moose field goal whatever it is i'm driving with them out look at that look at that that looks a little weird it looks a little different than mine this looks like a six seven huh i don't know why mine mine looks like a five nine i'm gonna have to take it to the uh to the dealership see what's going on i'm not sure but stay tuned guys we got some bank stuff coming for this uh we got we got some goodies coming for the truck so you, you're gonna stay tuned and yes i'm still looking for an 06 guy don't you worry does have the uh projection headlights but what i don't like is their halogen bulb so i got some hids i'm gonna put in here i'm doing hids up top 55k um 55 watts and I'm gonna go down here, same thing, 55K, but you gotta go 35 watts down here because what happens when you put HIDs in a 55, it will actually melt the uh, top of it right there. So you can't run the 55s. And then uh, we're gonna start looking for a light bar, put a 30 inch light bar right in here. Then we're probably gonna do uh, maybe Baja design all around. Probably do the Bajas in the uh, back also. So you guys know I like to put the little pods right back here, just like my truck. Just little ones right here just to see i mean i know i'm not gonna use it for towing but it's just nice to have them in case you need it and yes it does have a uh, reverse camera also that it came with i really have not done anything to the truck yet guys it literally uh, just got it back today now what we are going to do though is i'm going to do an oil change um i didn't let the dealer do it i just don't trust them stuff like that i don't know i just got bad i don't have a bad experience but just dealerships man they they i don't know a lot of them don't seem like they know what they're doing and if anybody out there watching that you know works at a dealership i'm not saying you don't know what you're doing but i've heard just so many horror stories of people doing work on it the only thing i had them do is pretty much look it over make sure nothing major you know which i didn't even need to but the guy insisted so i'm like all right whatever no big deal I mean, shit, 27,000 miles, it's still like brand new. And guys, you know, I gotta say too, the guy kept very uh, good care of the truck. Motor stayed clean, always wiped everything down. So I like it, the guy kept the, took really good care of it. Well guys, this is why I don't work outside. So drain it, the plug, and the wind took the oil a little bit. It started blowing all over the place. So, uh, oh well, I guess it is what it is. But let me, let me show you guys, check this out. So, you know, you guys, when we talk about, uh, you know the emissions compliance stuff and having an EGR not having so I just literally did the oil change I'll just put fresh oil in it check this out look at this oil this oil has no miles on it all it has is a startup you guys see how black that is like this get the stop moving look how black that is you see that and I, I didn't go nowhere all I did was start the truck up right now let's go look at the 19 rammer in there that i just looked has 4713 miles on it since its last oil change so i just pulled this out look at this guys look at that 4700 miles you see that you saw the difference there this thing is not black still has a little little gold to it but that's the difference. You can see the difference also between this motor and the other motor. And I guess, well, if you can't figure it out, um, you know, you can read a book and maybe you'll get it. Also, I don't know if I told you guys the newest uh, addition. We got a little solvent tank action here. We got uh, solvent, the bottles, right over here. I got two bottles. And, uh, well, because it's hard to get here, you know, Californians over here, we can't get the good stuff. So we got some solvent. Just help us uh, clean up, you know, parts, uh, stuff like that, heavy duty crap if there's grease stuff like that on there we're good to go now and i'm sure you guys are going to ask me where are you going to store this thing eddie so once uh the wall is actually past it's like 25 day mark something like that so this uh will be in that garage in there i'm going to push the boat all the way back and then the truck is going to go right in front of the boat and then the can-am tractor everything will be right in the uh, middle because there's going to be more room in the middle there's plenty of room width wise uh, and you know, I'm selling the boat anyways. I'm not really interested in the boat uh, The boat, you know, it, just, it bores me. I'm not a boat person. So um, This is pretty much gonna stay in that garage sometimes, you know, I'll I'll pull it in here Just depends. I want to clear this out and make it pretty much a shop So if we need to work on something uh, we can work on it, you know, I'm gonna put a lift in here So we have room just to work on stuff. This is uh, 
I don't know, just we'll just hang out in there. Okay guys, well, now it's time to finish cleaning up the garage, trying to organize this place. Why? Well, because it's time to take the old rammer, go hook it up to the ding ding, and head out to the desert. Yes, by the time you see the video, I'll already be out in the desert. So, we gotta go get this thing ready now. Well, it's pretty much ready, but gas it up. Go gas up uh, the ding ding. And well, that's about it, boys. We're good to go. And I forgot to mention, mention, mention one more thing. You guys, I had a ton of you guys ask me. So when I posted the story of uh, me losing power and you guys saw me uh, filling, it, filling it up, you kept asking me, what is this? This is just a little pump, guys, that I got on Amazon. I got a couple of them. I got one for fuel and I have one for diesel. This just makes uh, life a lot easier to pump number one, because well, all you do is push the on button, but also number two, it has a uh, sensor, a little eye right here, that it will stop when you're full. So when I'm pumping in like the little uh, Honda 2000, uh, it makes it a lot easier because, or even the pressure washer over there, it comes out and it ends up spilling everywhere and you don't wanna make a mess. So when I like fill this little thing up, that's it, I clip it on there, when it gets close, it stops. You don't have to, you don't mess with it, touch it. You don't gotta sit and take one of these, you know, cans right here and lift it. You guys know, if any of you guys have tried to fill a generator with this, you're pretty much almost guaranteed 100% you're gonna spill. And I hate spilling, I hate making a mess on the generator, so I use these, and then I just got these uh, little five gallon cans. Yes, yeah, they're a little more than five. It's like 5.3 or something. I know these, you can get like six in them. Uh, but you know these uh, there's there's two reasons why I like these the first reason is because It fits on there. It fits on these little pumps and uh, you can use another pump uh, For this or another fuel tank for this. They give you different adapters when you buy it They do not give you an adapter that big though. So uh, I like these because number one I uh, I buy these because that fits on it but number two it fits under the bed cover here so you can still close it. So you don't have to leave this flap open uh, in case you wanna bring extra fuel with you or something like that. Now, this thing is empty right now. When I get out in the desert, I use the pump that's in the ding ding to fill this up and then I uh, transfer this into the generators and you know anything else. Uh, for the Can-Am, I just pull up to the ding ding and fill up with that. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know, you like the truck? What do you think? I like the color. The color, it's not a white, it's like a champagne or pearl, something like that. I'm not sure, but let me know what you guys think. But that's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.